don't want you to tell me anything. Um, I'm just going to pull the cards and see what the cards say. And any um, any sections that I pull out or any cards that I pull out, if you want me to clarify it, I can use a clarifying card, which, um, like, for instance, the Seven of Wands might come out. And you don't understand when I'm explaining to you about the Seven of Wands and you don't really understand what it's saying, I can pull a clarifying card out for you to give you, like, more details to it. Okay. Okay. All right. You have any questions? Um, nope. Uh, all right. So we're going to get started. Let's see. How was your Labor Day? Um, I didn't do anything. Relax. How was yours? It was great. Actually, we um we went to a baseball tournament. So, yeah. Most of the time there's holidays, there's some type of tournament going on. So, um, I, we actually got back yesterday. So, I didn't even realize it was Labor Day. And I scheduled a whole bunch of stuff on Monday oh, and not even realizing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would not you be. Know what? I didn't <laughs> You're a Pisces like me, right? Yes. Okay, I thought so. Yeah, yeah. we don't we don't pay attention to the, to the time and the days. We just go with the right. flow. I knew that card was going to come out. All right. So the first card that came out is your situation. So this is basically what's going on, what the reading is about. So you have the four cups. So the four cups talks about money fluctuation. So kind of like being offered something you may not want. So, okay. yeah, so it's like something you're, you're getting an offer. It could be a money offer. Um, it could be a um, somebody approaching you as far as a relationship. Why? And it's kind of like you're not interested. Okay? okay. Now, the next card is what crosses your situation. So these are like the obstacles that are facing your situation. So we have the magician. So the magician is basically a person that can create their own reality. And it's like, it's either like you manifest something and it wasn't exactly what you manifest. And kind of like, for example, say if you manifest a car. And you wanted a all black uh, Mercedes, but the car that was offered to you was like a um, a all black Honda, and that's not what you want. You want the Mercedes, but 
that's what you manifest and that's what the universe gave you. So that's kind of what it's saying right now. All right, the next card. Let me know if you want me to clarify any cards. Um, can, yeah. can you clarify that card? The magician? Yes. Okay. And a lot of times, I don't know if you ever got a reading before, but a lot of times the cards are, they can be, they can go a lot of different ways. So, of course, I'm not in your life, so I don't know exactly, like, what's going on, but it could be pertaining to a relationship, pertaining to a job, could be pertaining to a child, you know, could be, it can go a lot of different ways. Okay. Clarify the magician. Okay, so the card that came out was the nine of air. The nine of air talks about expecting the worst, self-fulfillment prophecies, sleepless nights. So this is you up late at night thinking about um, how to change situations. So that's why the magician came, the magician card came out is because you're trying to change something and you're up late at night thinking about all different types of ways that you can change a situation or have what you want. Okay. All right. Okay. So the next card is going to be your unconscious influences. So these are things that are behind the scenes that you don't know about um, that's happening behind the scenes. And that's like a little bit deeper into your situation. So the next card that came out was the three of wands. So the three of wands, um, the, the three of wands can be a lot of different things. This can mean that you're thinking about traveling, um, maybe overseas. Um, it also can mean what they're telling me is like you kind of fantasizing about like moving away. Oh my god. <laughs> um I've been talking about leaving America. <laughs> yes. Okay, so then that's what the three of wands about. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show in the video so you can see what it looks like. Cause this is okay. is, is this is you and you have the three of wands, and you're overlooking the ocean, and you're overlooking land. Uh-huh. So I can't see. It's not on video. Oh, no, no, no. When I, when I, when you watch the video over again, you'll see it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, let me see if I can turn I think the camera I'm on. something. Yeah, hold on. Okay. okay, there you are. So this right. is the card. Oh, okay. So that's like you overlooking the land. And you're okay. thinking about, like, you know, leaving. You're thinking about moving away. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. So, the next card is going to be, I'm going to put it up so you can see. Put the phone up. Hold on. Okay, so the next card is the Knight of Swords, and this is about your past. So this is things that happened in the past, 
Um, sometimes readings will talk about the future and this could be right now. So it just all depends on how this is laying out for you. So okay. this is the Knight of Swords and this is a speedy situation or finish. So this is like, it can represent somebody that is a young man that's like 25 years old, like around that age, or it can represent um, a situation that coming in very fast. Want me to clarify that card or does that one make sense? Um, can you clarify that please? Okay. Normally like nights are, if there are people in your life, it's, it's like night, a night will be like a young man in your life. So it could be a son, okay. a brother, you know, somebody in your past or something in your past regarding that person. Um, or it can just mean a speedy situation. Okay. So kind of like something that happened, a situation that happened and it's like over with already. Something in your past though. Oh, okay. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Okay, so the card that came out was the Queen of Fire to clarify the Knight of Swords. And the Queen of Fire is about strength. So it says strength, um, stretch your rings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So this is something that was in your past that happened. So it could have been something that um, creative wise that you're doing maybe with a knight, somebody that's young, a young person or let's see. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Okay, so then the Empress came out. That's about lavish abundance, um, giving birth to your dreams, nurturing yourself. Um, Whatever this was, it was something that could have been regarding money, money or opportunity that came very fast and something that you were able to manifest very fast and it came to you very fast. Okay. All right. So the next card is going to be your conscious influences. So these are things that you are aware about, um, things that are on your mind, things that you focus on. And you got okay. the four of pinnacles. The four of pinnacles. This is the four of pinnacles. Pinnacles okay. always, most of the time, represent money. Yeah. And um, it's saying money improvements, more coming your way. So you have money that, you think about money a lot, and uh -huh. money is um, coming your way. And you're able to manifest it as well. All right, so the next card right behind the Four of Pentacles, which is in your near future, which is the High Priestess. And like I was saying, I knew this card was going to come out because the High Priestess is a woman that can, she's like the highest card in the tarot deck. She's very powerful. Um, she's able to manifest whatever she wants. Um, this card can also mean that secrets will be revealed. Mm. Um, it can go a lot of different ways. So, but to me, the high priestess in your reading, looking at all of your cards, because you also, you also got the magician. So that's like representing you, you coming up in your own reading. Um, you know, you being kind of like the type of person that can, you have a lot of a lot of manifesting power. 
you have a lot of power, period. You're able to have whatever you want and create whatever you want in your life. Um, like you have full control over everything, your money, your love life, everything. Very focused in your life. Okay, your next card is about your emotions. So this is how you're feeling, which this also resonates with your three of wands. So this is the six of swords. So if you look at that, it's like a man. He's like on like this little, it's like you moving away, but across water. So this is like the traveling card. So it says, um, boat over water travel, traveling, um, you're, you're traveling over water, but it also talks about, um, choppy waters, kind of like going to a calmer situation that things might have been rough in the past, but now everything is kind of like getting into like a calmer situation. Um, but to me, in your reading, this will be representing you moving away across the water somewhere. Mm, okay. And that's like what you're feeling. You're you're feeling, you're thinking about this. And again, you can manifest whatever you want. So if that's something that you want to do, you can manifest that. Mm -hmm. um, the next card is your outside influences. So this is your um, friends, family. Um, different things like that. And you got the oops, you got the three of cups. So this is like you okay. celebrating with your friends. Okay. So whoever you have around you, um, they're very loyal friends to you. Yeah. And the next card is your hopes and dreams, aspiration, goals, and you have the tower card. Now and this is what tower card looks like. Uh oh. Okay. So, <laughs> so the tower card is about things happening very quickly. Uh -oh. Um, but it's kind of like an ending to a situation, and kind of like it's different things. So it could be an ending to a situation, but rebuilding at the same time. So mm -hmm. kind of like things have to like fall apart to be restructured again. Okay. Um you want me to clarify that card? Um or that makes sense to you? Uh, I think that makes sense to me. Okay. All right. That makes sense to me. All right. And then your outcome of the whole entire reading. Um the outcome is the 10 of swords. So the okay. Ten of Swords is about it's a death or ending to a situation or a relationship. So that is going hand in hand with the Tower card. So it's something something is is ending. Something is about to end. So if I was to sum up the whole reading, to me it's like you're up at night or daily you're contemplating on something, something you're thinking about all the time. And you're trying to create. Seems like you're thinking mm -hmm. about moving. And that's what it seems like you're moving. Um, you're thinking about moving. So in order for you to move, you have to um, end. You have to kind of like cut, cut ties with a lot of stuff in order to move. So that would, to me, sum up you're reading but you're able to create whatever you want to create you have that ability to do that okay so we are at let's see what time no i can't find everything i don't know what time we started uh, i think it was like i think you have like 15 so i think i started at like 11 or something like that okay so, I can pull more cards. You can ask a question. Um, so, I... Hold on, give me one second. Hold on. Okay. Mm 
All right, sorry about that. Um, no worries. So, yeah, um, so you have any questions or? Am I on the right track as far as, like, my, um, I guess, my purpose or, like, what I'm supposed to be doing? Okay. Okay, so Spirit, is she on the right track as far as her purpose and what she's supposed to be doing? Okay, so see the king of Okay, so the cards that came out, you have the four fire. Um, the four fire, four fire is basically about like having a happy home life, um, peace and abundance. And then you have the five of earth, and the five of earth is about fear surrounding money. Um, the wisdom to accept other, the, sorry, the wisdom to accept help from others, um, uncertain self-employment. Um, and then you have the dreamer, which is basically, if you look at this, like he's in, like in one realm and he's about to take a leap into another like dimension in a way. So... The dreamer, it says a leap of faith, following your dreams, unexpected opportunities. And then you have the seven of fire. And the seven of fire is about, it says, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So spirit is basically telling you to take help from others. And then it also says uncertain self-employment. So that means that you're thinking about some type of self-employment situation that you're you wanting to do. Mm -hmm. But you feel uncertain. Yes. But then you have the dreamer. The dreamer, again, is about a leap of faith. Spirit is telling mm -hmm. you to take that leap of faith. You have to leave, close one door to open another door. Mm -hmm. um, and when you go to that leap of faith to the other side there is going to be some unexpected opportunities so there's a lot of opportunities that's waiting 
on the other side, but you have to get on the other side. You have to actually trust spirit and take that leap of faith. Um, and when doing so, you're going to have a happy home life. You're going to have peace. Um, with what you're doing, you're going to be very peaceful. Whatever it is, it's something that, um, something that you're passionate about. Yes. You're, yes. you're very passionate about it. It makes you happy. Um, but you're just hesitant about doing it. Um, and whatever it is also is something that, um, people are kind of like being naysayers about. They're telling you, um, <laughs> like, you know, it's like, if I show you this car, okay, so this car right here, right? So this is you on the dragon. This is you basically battling the naysayers. These are all the okay. swords. So spirit is telling you to like, like be very strong in your beliefs, stand your ground. And you know, what's for you is for you. It might not be for somebody else. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So I want to share with you about that. Okay. So, um, and, and it's, it, spirit is just so amazing because I, so in March I decided to get certified for a life coach. Okay. And like my life done fell apart on so many levels, but <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm going to be a life coach because that's where I felt, <laughs> felt like led, you know, I thought about what I was doing currently and that was the part that I loved the most about my job was coaching my employees. So uh -huh. I was like, I think that would be a good fit. So I got certified and I told my cousin, um, Hey, um, I just got certified, um, to be a life coach. And she was like, okay, life coach. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> what? And that really has stuck with me because I'm like, I knew she meant that in a condescending way. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, oh, okay, you a life coach, mm -hmm. you know? But it's like, what's for me is for me. And you said that, and I thought that. I was like, you know what? She might not understand it, but what's for me is for me. And she don't know the journey that I've been on, you know? Mm -hmm. And I know that I'm being taken through a journey for, even as I got my very first client, it's me being taken through a journey for myself and it's helping somebody else too. Mm -hmm. So, yep, absolutely. So that is spot one. And one <laughs> yep, sure. that's funny. And you know, um, even like that's funny too because us as Pisces, we go through a lot, and you go through a lot of self rediscovery, and even like with what I do with reading and stuff. Some people are like, people that know me, know me, like, wow, you, you, your life is, not even say your life, but you a hot mess, you know, and you had a nerve to be like reading for people. But the thing is, is that, well, I have a gift to read. It's not about me. My life is my life, but helping yes. somebody else is, that's totally different. And also mm -hmm. with things that I have been through in my life, is their learning lessons to help other people. So, yeah. I mean, so so what is for you is for you. And you can be, a, you, you actually, with clients, you learn also yourself, you know, learning from them, you know, and helping somebody. And that's a part of also doing what you love. Helping somebody yes. else helps you as well. Yes. Yes. For sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, and that's, you know, when I've been, meditating and praying and I just been like you know I yes I want to be financially set but I'm not doing this for that you know I'm doing it because it's it just feels good to feel like I'm helping somebody you know and, get out of a rut and you know what spirit just told me because when I'm doing reading spirit will talk to me and spirit just told me that of course, yes, you don't do it for the money, but money is going to come to you because you're helping other people. So yes. you're not going to not, you're not going to like worry about money. And then with your, 
with you doing what you're doing, it's going to some kind of way, it's going to take you to travel. Like it's going to call you to travel as well. Okay. Or either it's okay. going to, it's either going to call you to travel or it's going to um, supply the means to travel. Okay. And it's going to open up so many doors what you oh being a life God. coach. It's going to be like different, different you're going to meet different people and it's like going to be a whole different, that's what the tower was about, was kind of like okay. leaving your old life behind to start a whole new life. Like you literally have to leave, I don't know if you ever heard stories about people that have basically left their whole entire old life behind like literally just quit cold turkey like one of the type of situations where people quit their job and they just start a whole new life and they just have faith that this is going to work like it's like that type of situation but i'm not telling you quit your job but i'm just saying <laughs> i got you i got i got, I got <laughs> and then you did say um right after one of the cards um, when I ask if I'm on track for my purpose. Uh-huh. Hold on, hold on a second. I'm getting the Amber Alert. Okay, sorry, I was getting an Amber Alert. Go ahead. Oh, I can't hear you. Hold on, hold on. Why can't I hear you? Why can't I hear you? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up. Yeah, and call her back. Could not hear anything. Yeah, Amber alert came on my phone, and then I couldn't hear anything. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah, you said something about after one of the cards, you said uh, something. Okay, so you have mentioned there's some fear around finances. Yes. And Okay, and that is probably, um, yeah, that falls in line with what I'm, with the whole life coach thing and, and how am I going to get enough clients and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that actually sums up your reading. That was, it was a very, very interesting reading because I didn't know where it was going to go. I'm like looking at the cards and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I yeah, didn't know it worked. So what, then the next question I have for you is when, what is your YouTube? Um... Oh, um, I'm going to send you the link. It actually okay. is the same name as my Facebook page, but let me see how it looks. Let me see if I can send you a link now. 